Ah, so the Oracle, Jan Gustafsson, is telling me who it was. But you guys can figure it out for yourself. I'm sure you know pop culture. So this worked out so well in the previous game, so I'm going to try it again. See if you learned. First of all, if you're going to go Queen A4, do it immediately. But isn't it just running into the same bishop f5 now? This is utterly confusing. But he's playing so fast. Knight f2, queen b5 takes, knight b5, knight h1. I don't like that. Maybe he's just brilliant. Taking on c3 looks dull, so I'm not going to do that. Knight c6 it is then. Could have played c6, but I do feel that that was not in the spirit of this stupid opening. Uh, let me see. Could you go knight h4? He's just begging me to take an f2. Well, as they say, well, they say something about not being asked twice, but I was asked twice. And the second time I'm asked, I go for it. So queen b5, I probably have to take. Since if I take on h1, then queen b7 is a really nasty double threat. Ah, so this is his point. He wants knight h1, d5, and so on. a6, bishop a4, b5, knight b5, a b, bishop b5. Maybe he's coming out ahead there, so I should play a bit more carefully. Now the point is if d5, I have... I have, uh, yeah, probably should take on c3 and then play a6. And uh, thus... Well, I get b5 and... If he wants to get the pawn back, he has to take on c6 at some point, but then it feels like I should be doing relatively well with my bishop pair. And... Uh, yeah, he does have a lead in development, but I don't think it's too significant since my moves are coming quite easily with um, with f6 and so on. So I should probably go back to e4, bishop t7. Uh, Bishop g7, rook g8 is obviously not an issue. You could go bishop e5. Yeah, I don't like playing f5, but I think I should do it. I think is the time was of more of an essence than structural concerns there. I still have an easy plan of rook g8 followed by either g6 or g5. Getting that bishop out, or could also consider just going e6 like a normal person. I should speed up. That's almost always the answer. I'm not, I'm not sure I like what I did here. I'm not sure I like it one bit. Yeah, he's getting he's getting a bunch of counterplay now. But at least I get the bishop to c5, which I like. And now I'm gonna sack the exchange. Hopefully, yeah, f4 I'm really happy to, to 
to be able to get in. Taking e3, he goes rook to c6. Now rook to c7, this is no good. Now I have rook b2 with rook e6, king f5, and game over because of the mate threat. So we have to take on e3, but then he's just a couple of down, pawns down in the rook ending. And I have uh, almost 20 seconds. Cutting off his king, just why not? Letting his king back again, why not? Exchanging rooks, and yeah, that's the game. Well, thank you. That was a very good fight, actually. Uh, or not actually, anybody could say that was a good fight.